Welcome back to the channel. This video is for my buddy Jake, who asked me a question about DNA. First off, I got a little wabbit. I put out a bunch of banana chips out there, and hopefully he eats some of those. I don't know. But I love it. Like, I see my little buddy, like, every day now. It's so cool. Like, he just comes right out there, and he's just, he's just sitting right there. <laughs> I'm kind of a little pissed because he's eating that fucking shitty-ass plant that are everywhere, but not eating my banana chips. <laughs> Goddamn bastard. <laughs> fucking bastard. <laughs> you're going to eat that shitty-ass plant that's everywhere, but you're not going to touch any of my banana chips. All right, I want to apologize, too. For, oh, sorry, rabbit. He ran away. Oh. I wasn't even doing anything. <laughs> I wasn't even doing anything. Anyway, I wanted to make this video for Jake and anybody else that wants to watch. He sent a video to me about your DNA, and I'm going to answer your questions. So, um, if you were to ask me who am I... I would tell you that I know that I'm actually a being from another dimension, a star seed that was sent here on this planet to help with the other 144,000. There's 144,000 uh, that came here. And that I'm actually somebody that did rule in Atlantis. I could try to explain how I know these things, and I'm, you know, I'm just telling you what I know. And when I was first taught everything I knew by the billionaire that taught me everything I knew, he literally said that everything you want is in your DNA. And I thought that was a really weird statement back when I was still stuck in 3D reality. I have been to 5D reality quite a few times. You know, which is why I had to leave. You know, that's one of the reasons. Not how, I, you know. I will say this. Doing that and being around the rest of the people I grew up with. Um, you know. I'm in a whole other world. I'm, I'm literally, I'm literally, I'm literally, literally in a whole other world. Fuck. I might have to make this a two-part Ah, because, um, I made another video last night. God damn it. It might be taking up all my storage space. So if it cuts off, I apologize. But yeah, the truth is everything you want is in your DNA. If you really think about it, could you manifest something that is a color that you've never seen? No, because it's whatever the mind of man could conceive and bring itself to believe it can achieve. So it's really what is ever imprinted in you for you to create. Um answer a couple more questions like i said if other people watch this video they might not know all the questions i'm asking but in the video they talked about aliens and how this is an experiment i have seen aliens like six times like six times and one of the times jake was at your house i was outside your house back when you were living at your uncle's and it was me and sakara living inside your house do you remember that I was outside and I was doing Dr. Stephen Greer. Remember that video? He's still in Greer. Yeah, that dude's still in gear. <laughs> I was watching one of his videos about picturing with my mind where I'm at. Like that. Like, you know, I imagine you're rising your like picture of you up, whatever. And your intention is for other aliens that are flying by to pick up on your signal that are interdimensional to phase into 3D reality where we are and, you know, say hi. And I did that a few times successfully. And at one time at your house, I was doing it and I look up and there was a light that came out of nowhere shining at me. And I instantly went like that because I felt bad. I was like, I don't feel good about this one. And uh, then I saw a flying triangle come in out of nowhere, which I'm not saying those are aliens. I'm saying those might be man-made machines or whatever. You know, there's enough information out there. Look it up in your own time. But point is, an actual triangle came in, swooped in, 
and came crushing down at me and I almost fell on my ass because it stopped like within a hundred feet above your house. This is an actual story. I don't even know if you knew about it, but it actually came down with a hundred feet ab above your house. And it almost, I almost fell on my ass. <sighs> <It's> like, <"Whoa!" laughs> and I had this instant headache. And I remember I ran inside and asked the car, are you okay? And she goes, man, I got a fucking headache. And I said, we got to go. And you know, we left and all that shit, but no, everything is in your DNA. I have experiences that are above and beyond what you would call a mortal experience. You can activate information stored in the subconscious or in your DNA. So to say you can't expand as a person, yeah, you can't expand as a person. That was the big secret that Kevin Trudeau talked about. He talked about how this the super wealthy believed, like Andrew, not Andrew Carnegie, but Ford, Henry Ford believed that the poor are the poor and that that we're we're the ruling class they don't deserve i'm getting messages and distractions that they don't deserve the secrets to being successful but andrew carnegie the richest man in the world aka a pretty powerful being he was the richest man at a time believed that anybody could do these things and you have to clear karma and a bunch of blockages that are in your energy which is in your DNA. I mean, at a root core, yeah, it's in your DNA. But I mean, even astrologically, whatever way you want to put it, you know, these are all just pattern recognitions. You have everything you could possibly want anyway in your DNA. Think about it. If somebody told you everything you want is in your DNA, that's pretty much like everything you can experience around mm -hmm. you. You could have. I'm getting all kinds of messages right now trying to distract me. That's I'm on point. <laughs> I don't get text messages. I got personal text messages hit me up. I never get personal text messages. And it's by a low vibe dude too, so it doesn't surprise me that he's trying to stop me. But if this still has audio, and I know this is a long video, yeah. Yeah. And you know, cloning's real. There's a lot going on, you know, in this world that's you know, like I could get too deep on it, but there's a lot going on in this world, and it's it is so so above the heads of so many. And the funny thing is, once you start activating certain things in your DNA, people in the higher world here that rule it know, and you're kind of hunted down. But the world I just described isn't the one you think it is, so it doesn't work that way. It, it doesn't work that I create my own reality. I'm in my own hologram, non-real world, just like everybody else is, and they're all interfacing with each other. It's kind of like in a video game and you walk up. I don't know. I've never played World of Warcraft, but in World of Warcraft, at least by South Park's joking edition, uh, they're like when they're in the town, you can't attack each other. But and then there's actually one character who figured out how you could, <laughs> and everybody died, and they're like, ah, and then they, you know, level up and shit. But yeah, it's like reality. Like, I mean, the world I'm living in is nothing, nothing like everybody else who I was with earlier. So yeah, I'm act I'm activating more and more strands in my DNA. Really, that's why you need to start talking to yourself positively and start activating things within you that you can do things. There's a whole world out there that you don't know about and to, when you get there you'll see further and you know but that guy did explain it in a scientific way yeah yeah and that always fucked me up when I was first taught back when I was still in 3D reality everything you want is in your DNA just don't get mind fucked about how you're limited because there was a time where I didn't know I was a star seed or I was limited and at the end of the day my training's so good from the way I was taught you know, Jake knows. He knows I listen to these stupid audio tapes like a thousand fucking times. He knows what I mean. My training is so good. I, I quite aware that all I'm hearing anytime anybody says anything, like through the experiences that I did find out I was a star seed and I was a child of Atlantis and a lot of other shit and all the other crazy experiences I've been going through. All I'm hearing is higher belief levels. 
higher belief. Okay, so now you're telling me some shit about how I'm really awesome. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, I don't give a shit, you know. And if somebody were to tell me, oh, no, you're cursed here, and, you know. No, I mean, yeah, I'm not believing that shit. <laughs> at the end of the day, that's all I give a shit about. I, when I listen to people at my job or they're talking, all I'm hearing is their belief level, their ability to affect reality. So you can say whatever you want, you know, but at the end of the day, and I'm out there. I'm out there on all these topics, but I'm just leveling up in any way I fucking can. So I love you. Um, but yeah, you are. That's that's what's going on right now in this world. Things are kind of splitting off. There's like a, there's like two groups. There's the groups that's actually evolving with the world as it's moving on, you could say. And there's those that are stuck in fear. And then lower vibrations that are being, you know, they're stuck in their DNA that's blocked. They never made it past anything. And you can kind of see those people. And um, I'm not trying to act like I'm smart enough or wise enough to know what's going to happen. But you do want to move into the 5D reality with the rest of us. You're going to want to move into this new world that's coming in 144 on the clock when I say that. So I love you. <laughs>